Hello and welcome back, my hardcore laundrymen. How you doing today? It's Chris here, and I'm finally going to create an epic wish orb. On top of that, I'm going to do a mega wish orb unboxing for you guys. We've got multiple epics, super rares, and a bunch of other rares and commons and everything else that you could want to see right now. So let's let's just let's not even wait for it, guys. We're going to create our epic wish orb craft, baby. Oh. I'm down to one shard right now. Oh my god. Now don't forget to press the like button if you guys enjoy videos like this because uh, it definitely takes a long time to create them. But here we go. Here is our epic wish orb. I've also got 200 gems, which I've earned throughout the uh, entire time I've been playing this game that I'm going to be using to buy a second epic card. We get three epics too. Oh baby. All right, let's check out what these bad boys are. We've got the Mask of Shadows, which I already have, by the way. Kind of interesting. Must be sort of a common epic card to get. The Gauntlet of the Hero. Let's check out what this does. It's First of all, it is a trinket. I got three trinkets today. No weapons. A little sad about that. Uh, activated ability. Character stops attacking and fires a continuous laser. Instead, it's got 80 range, a .05 cooldown, 20 damage. What? One pierce. Duration is 10 seconds and the cooldown is 180 seconds. Oh my god. I think we might we have we have to get both of these, right? All right, what's the gemma the gemstone here? Another new trinket for ourselves. Increases the amount uh increases amount of characters spawned by upgrades and abilities. Okay. I don't really have very many of those right now. Oh, I do, I do. I have a warrior princess. She creates a bunch of uh, peanut butter and nut, nut archers or something like that. Grants an extra 20% attack speed if equipped to PB and an extra 3 damage if Marceline is nearby with Carl the gem equipped. Oh, uh, well, this is getting really complicated now, guys, but I have to do it. Oh, should I just watch the ad to reroll? Oh, I can't. That's okay. But that is an interesting way to get some new epics if you really don't like what you're seeing right here. So we got gem. We gotta go for both of these bad boys. Let's get it, man. We gotta keep it. Oh, now I'm not. I'm not super duper happy with my epics, though. I gotta say, man. Um, overall, I I think that they're gonna be good, but I could have gotten something better, like the 4D sword for for uh uh, uh what's his face um Finn, are uh is just freaking amazing. But I'm kind of excited to uh, to actually use some of these guys. But without further ado, let's hop into some more Wish Orb unboxings. So just so you guys know, these are in no specific order. We've got the Mini Pult. Ooh, Gunter and just some random condiments. Ew. Trebuchets. Is it a, is it a catapult or is it a trebuchet? I'm not sure I, I know. But it's only usable by uh, the, the, I don't know what his name is yet, but the catapult dart monkey guy. So that's kind of interesting, all right? Uh, let's keep on pushing through, and we get a super rare wish orb. But what? We get two rares in our super rare? Come on. Now that was just unlucky, if I have to say so myself. We get an apple, which increases range and speed. Not bad. Uh, the rents hilt plus one damage if clayed trinket is uh, there. But the missile is the only super rare, so we have to go for the missile. Plus, it is a pretty awesome uh, little guy to use anyways. Uh, it really, really helps out for... Uh, you know, cheaper towers. Because you get a missile attack right when you pop down a $300 tower or something like that. We get a regular uncommon wish orb. Sweet, but we also got a super rare here, guys. Get ready for it, man. So we got a common, an uncommon, and an uncommon. Um, plus three pierce to melee. Meh, driller darts, no special properties, but 10% speed. And then candy duck axe, only range 5%. We gotta go for the driller darts, dude. Why the heck wouldn't we? This just is, it seems like it's the way to freaking go, man. But I'm not going to be spending any gems on any extra cards for these lower tier guys. And we get another super rare to work with right here. Alright, what are we going to get, man? We got the ooh, the Fumigator, the Baby Tooth, and then Shoko the Epic. Oh! Shoko has found her way into the, the fight from the ancient past. She can use her thief skills to steal special properties from balloons and turn them into cash. Oh my god. I think we gotta do that, man. We got some, we got Baby Tooth and Fumigator over here, but Fumigator already got that, and uh, I don't really care about this, man. We gotta go for the epic, and stealing cash is like the number one thing that I love to do in the game. I absolutely love it here, and we get an achievement unlocked as well. Absolutely wonderful, right here, guys. The question is, should we buy the Baby Tooth? Reduces activated ability cooldowns by twenty percent. Well near PB. Now the nice thing about uh, Princess Bubblegum is that she's so gosh darn. Uh, she's such a huge range that her 
like all the, the the bonus effects that you get for from you know being in her range are, are absolutely wonderful. I always add all the things that I can to Princess Bubblegum that affects all of my other characters, just making her the overall best support character in the game. And she still does damage with this fumigator and everything. So um, I decided to just say screw it, and I bought the fumigator guys. Um, I, I just I had to go for it, man. I just had to. But we got some more in comments, and we got some epics coming in here very, very soon as well. So we got Penny's Dagger, the Mouth Organ, <laughs> the Candy Duck Axe, plus one damage to Shield Blooms. No special properties, but a plus two pierce. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we just got to go for Penny's Dagger here. You know, like, why the heck not? These are just uncommons. They're not all that important. We get a rare Wish Orb here, though. Oh, yeah. We get one uncommon, but two rares still. Uh, we get the Root Sword, which is plus one damage. Oh, 20% chance to glue. Okay, that's cool, but plus one damage, dude. Oh. So basically, if you get this early on in the game, man, anything that does damage, you need it. You need it, you need it, you need it. You're basically doubling your output. Normally do one damage, you're going to double it to two. It's freaking frickin crazy, man. You need to do that. So we got some more rare wish orbs here. We got the pink sweater, the motor helmet, and the thief uh, king's dagger. Now I gotta say, the pink sweater is very, very delicious over here. It is protected from negative effects. So floors, lava, hot plates, etc. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's freaking awesome. But, melee attacks give an additional $2 cash per attack. I gotta go for the Thief's Dagger. The, the King Thief's Dagger. I mean, I love myself some monies. I don't care how how overpowered Finn is gonna be. I need that bad boy. And then we get another epic wish orb. We get one super rare and two epics for ourselves right here. And we're finally gonna show off the 4D sword. We got the Boo Boo Sosa, right? Reduces negative effects by 30%. Like, alright, that's okay. Cosmic Gauntlets. Reduces activated ability cooldowns by 10%. Okay. But then slows balloons, including Moebs, on contact with a 5% chance to destroy them completely. So every 20 hits, we have a chance to destroy a Zoma God and destroy a BFB and destroy a Moab class balloon. Uh, I think so, at least. I think it can destroy a Zoma God because that's what's been happening to me. Absolutely insane. Now, the question is do we also want the Cosmic Gauntlets? I don't have enough gems. I do. I want them, but I don't have enough gems here, guys. And another epic wish orb for you guys. The third one of the day already, baby. And we get an ally and then two trinkets. But I've got the gems this time. If you're just wondering, these are pre-recorded, by the way. They're not all at the same time. That would be near impossible. Technological Terror. A mechanized clone of the Super Monkey that went horribly wrong. Basically, it's just a really nice, powerful ally. The Jetpack. Equipped carrier can be placed on lava, uh, or land, water, or lava. Okay, that's actually really, really freaking sweet. Put them anywhere on the screen, wherever you want. And then the glasses of Nerdicon. Equipped character can seek hammo balloons. <gasps> oh, baby, and extra range. Oh, my God, I want all of them. Honestly, these are probably three of the best cards that I've gotten in a long time. And I was really excited to use all of them, but I think I, I started off with wanting to just get the allies, because the allies are sort of rare to get. You almost get no allies, especially epic allies that are actually worth it to use. But I will say that you don't really use the allies as much as you might want to. And then I decided to go with the glasses of Nerdicon as well, just because camo detection is really important. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you press that like button for me, subscribe if you haven't, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.